the Caribbean Princess. So this is just a little bit more of the back deck area on this lovely Caribbean Princess boat. So this is the little adults only pool. And we are up one level of stairs. Those stairs right there are on either side. There's a sitting area, a bar with wonderful staff. Um, these people are actually directly across from me on the second level. And there's an area for chairs like we're sitting in, but there's nobody up there. They're cleaning up chairs. This is the last night of our cruise. And so they're trying to get everything ready for tomorrow because they're going to be preparing for a new bunch of people on the next cruise. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show you this upper deck area because I'm afraid they're going to maybe block it off. So right to my left here they have like a little kid area with some stuff in there. I don't know, little kitty cars and stuff, but we haven't had hardly any um, kids on this cruise, or not very many. Uh, so, up these stairs is an absolutely wonderful little suntan area. They've, um, it's uh, five o'clock-ish in the evening in there. Most people are eating and packing and getting ready to go um, so first thing in the morning they take all those chairs that are bunched up right there and set them all out nicely with tables in between them so here is a little kiddie pool I have yet to see one kid in this kiddie pool and it's a nice spot to cool off if you're up here sunbathing <clears throat> this area it takes a while for people to like notice that it's here and recognize and spend time up here so on the very beginning of the cruise it's a great time to use this space this is a little pool it's cool um, cool in temperature uh, it's a little bit hard to get into and out of but there's hardly ever been anybody in here it's actually a hot tub up here um, Depending on the temperature of the day, it's a little bit hotter than you want to sit in for very long. This is a cute little bar that I've never seen a bartender at. They just use it to load the stuff that people have left around on their chairs. So there's the bar. There's one side of the boat. It's so cool because you can go to either side to see what it is that you want to see. Um, Tonight we are hanging out on that splendid little spot right over. There's my man. And so I just wanted to make this video before the sunset and then I'm going to take a picture of the sunset. but. So, and then there's the hot tub and a whole bunch of more seating area with the smoking area right back there. Um, up above me is, oh, I can't, sun is too bright in the background to share that bit with you, but um, it's a walkway right above me. Right here, the dark thing is a walkway that walks over to the night lounge where they have late night dancing and music. You can see the windows up right into the middle of the screen right there. Really fun, but the music's really loud. So now I'm gonna walk back down to where we are enjoying the sunset on the last night of our cruise. So, um, tips, let's see. Like I say, this area is I think an awesome tip because people don't notice it first thing in the cruise. By the end of the cruise, people are um, utilizing it a lot more often, but the 
cool thing about this area, look at, there's a bunch of little bar stools down there, but the cool thing about this area on the back of the boat is um, they actually put silverware on the tables. Um, you can eat out here if you love spending time outdoors, which we do, and <clears throat> it's right off of the buffet. So, middle level. And then, I'm not going to walk down to that level, but beach towels everywhere, and then right to the left of those beach towels is where you go into the buffet. So that's it for right now. I'm going to show you pictures of our beautiful sunset as soon as it happens shortly.